Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me again, Winston. Today's the day. We're going to go check out the suspension and see what could be causing my problems, all right? So, based on your suggestions, your comments, what I saw, it, it's going to help a lot and I, once again, I thank you guys and gals if anybody is <laughs> um you know, made the com uh, comments or suggestions below really really means a lot to to me. So, Let's get right to it. Just going off of the list of what you know, what you guys suggested. Now, the first thing that I saw that is easy to check is for the ball joints. Now, the way that you do that is you have to put your hand at three and nine o'clock positions, okay, and wiggle it back and forth. If you hear clunking like I do, there is a possibility that lower ball joints are faulty. And then, also at the 12 and 6 position, do the same. No clunking. So, that's a possibility that I have bad a joint somewhere. Let's see if the tests were correct. Upper ball joint, good to go. Lower ball joint, oh yeah, look at that. Ruined. Okay, so definitely something we have to address, you know, in a future video. See if the same theory holds true for the, uh, the side that has the uh, problem to begin with. Okay, clunky. Okay, not so much. Let's do it. Upper is good. Ah, again. Golly damn. Another ball joint ruined. Oh yeah, we definitely got a pair, get a pair of these. Another suggestion made by a fellow viewer, subscriber, was to check the CV axles to see if they're bent. Upon closer inspection, uh, I did not see any bends. Um, and if they were to get into an accident or they were to deeply be affected, they would start here at the, uh, the knuckles. Okay, where the freely moving joints are probably the first ones going to go. <laughs> okay, these axles are very strong and they're very hard to bend. And the only way, of course, they would bend is on, under extreme pressure uh, like, like a crash. And there's also free moving parts within here. It's the same on the other side. Okay. So I, I truly, sincerely doubt that those, you know, the, the shafts themselves would greatly be affected. Okay? See, that part right there, yeah, that would definitely be, uh, deeply be affected. Another viewer suggestion uh, was made to check to see if the radiator core support has been uh, replaced. From here, I could tell you, yes, I did replace them myself. You could see the uh, parts here that was not welded. Um, I did that because this this bar was bent back as if somebody smashed into something. And it was bent right here in the middle. And obviously, because of that bend, you could or pretty much safely say that they ran over something. And the radiator itself also was greatly affected so I had to replace that uh, other than that all I did was just replace this part right here and I just you know my my friend and I just spot welded it in place okay uh, other than that the, there was no other co uh, major collisions on the front end okay one thing that I did notice was this arm was a lot straighter 
than this arm. Now, look at how curvy that is. Okay? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of curve here that's going on with this arm and it's bending, ironically, it's bending back towards that direction which in, in essence it's kind of like controlling the whole thing back whereas in this case, in this other arm you see how much more straight it looks than that notice the difference again my point of view right my point of view and I'm in the middle of the car already looking at both directions from left to right now I don't know if if you can see it as much as I do the curvature of this arm in comparison to the curvature of this arm okay so you, you folks tell me you know if I'm if my eyes are deceiving me One thing I know for sure that if this problem doesn't get fixed anytime soon, this fender will not only get eaten up, but my tires will eat up this metal that it keeps rubbing off on, if you can see that. You see that? What I could do is uh, maybe bend this back, but I don't know, that's a lot of trouble for me. Somebody asked me whether it's a salvage title or not. I do have a title and it has the pink obviously with the blue borders. If it was the pink slip with the green borders, that's how you know it's a salvage title. But just because your title has the uh, original one, which is the, the pink and the blue borders, doesn't necessarily mean that your car was not damaged. As I said, probably somebody just repaired the, the car without reporting it. Okay? So just so you know. As well alignment goes. There's no caster, there's no toe, there's no positive camber, none of that. Just negative camber, three degrees on both sides. So definitely, definitely, a camber kit is in the works pretty soon for this um, suspension, along with the replacement of the tie rod ends. There you have it, folks. This is basically wrapping up what I found according to your suggestions on the, on the last video that I made so with that uh, looking forward to some camber kit installs uh, tie rod ends bushings uh, re uh, replacements all that other stuff and possibly maybe a new alignment okay and the, the new results from that so look out for that thank you very much I also wanted to announce that I'm about to reach 1 million views and that's awesome you guys really thank you very much for you know you know supporting uh, supporting me in this channel uh, throughout the year and possibly maybe in a year and a half uh, th you know, this couple of you know past several videos that I made I I didn't even take notice of it until like I looked at my stats so with the year that has passed and I've been putting putting out the car you know, car videos Y'all just showed me so much um, support. I really appreciate that, and my, you know, my family and I thank you for that too. So, I'll be doing a drawing and a contest pretty soon. So, look out for that. Okay. Till next time. Take care. Don't do anything crazy out there, kids. All right. See ya. Bye. By the way, say hi to Raven. Hi. <laughs> Newest of addition to our family.